Hey guys, it's Sindor and welcome back to the channel for another video. So today I am doing a must-have mods video in The Sims 4. Now I've done this before, um, I'd say around a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less, can't quite remember, but I've decided to do another one as I'm becoming more into YouTube, I guess, so I, I thought it would be a good idea to do an updated one. And plus I use a lot of gameplay mods now. So anyway, so I just wanted to make a bit of a disclaimer. I am making this, the only mods that I have in the game, just for this video, are the ones that I'm showing off. So basically, um, I usually play with a lot of mods, so if you want to go watch my other videos, I usually play with a lot of gameplay mods and as well as some, not too much, but obviously like some uh, Nexus Match CC as well. So that's sort of me, but for this video I am just using just mods for um, the ones I'm showing off, the must-have gameplay mods for realistic, sorry, yeah, the must-have gameplay mods for realistic gameplay. Okay, that didn't make sense. The must-have mods for realistic gameplay. <laughs> okay, um, and yeah, so, but then I usually play more mods as well. So this house, if you have watched my other videos, you may have seen this. I built this house myself, and I uploaded a video for it. Obviously, um, I just placed it on a different lot, and I kind of had to redo some of the terrain and, like, random stuff. I just did it in, like, a couple minutes, because that's not the main focus of this video. Anyway, so let's just get straight into it. So this is a family I made real quick. Um... We're gonna start off with a UI extension mod. So this one, oh my gosh, it's so important. Like, there are a lot of things you can do with this mod. Um, first of all, let me just show you a couple of things. So for example, you can see they have a lot of money, but I feel like this isn't quite realistic. So maybe, so what you do is you right click on the money. So you see, you right click here, and you can change, um, set the amount of money or add the amount of money. So let's say, I think we should have around 5,000 simoleons. So you do that. Boom, now all that rest of the money is gone. So that make, that's a, so much easier. You can also change the time. So it's 11 o'clock now. I'm speaking so fast. <laughs> and when, I, when I'm like really happy, I often speak so fast. But anyway, so it's 11 o'clock now. So we'll say if we want to make it 11, um, 32. I don't know if it, no. Actually, no, I usually don't set it for like, I usually set it for specific hours, not like minutes as well so let's set it for 12 and then i'll change it to 12 o'clock it's so easy now i don't think you can do it for weather i've been trying to work it out there might be a way but from what i can see i can't do it from weather but um there might be another way you might have to have another mod i just saw someone doing it and i'm like how do you even do that <laughs> um and then also a few other things i've just got the page open right now just so i can get a better look at it so the other things you can do is um you can right click on a sim relationship panel so, for example, um, let's say this is her father, so we can change the um, relationships. Obviously, they're quite friendly, but let's say they had an argument. You can set it to minus 20, for example, and that will make it look like they've had an argument, so it will bring it down to minus 20. So, um, also, you might have a mood that you don't want. For example, it she's on her first period, but let's just say, obviously, you can't change this in real life, but let's just say it's kind of being a bit annoying. You don't want to deal with this right now in your gameplay, so you just right-click it, go on. Right click it, gone. You know, you just keep doing that. It's so it sometimes can be so helpful if you have a negative mood that when you're in the middle of doing something else, like it just disrupts you. For example, if like a sim in your family died, but you want to flirt with another sim, you can just get rid of that that moodlet, and they can just go and flirt with them with no problem. You know. Um. Also, if for the money one again, if you like left click on it, you can do just a thousand simoleons up. Um. And also, you can promote. So you can just promote. So that'll make your A student, for example. Um, and you can make it, so I'm pretty sure this comes with this career, you can right click on promotion tasks. Oh no, daily tasks. Uh, is that which one? Oh, so no, you don't right click, so you just click it normally. No, you do right click, my bad, you right click it. <laughs> it was just, it was just, um, slow before, but you right click it and as it, say it as if they've done it, so it thinks they've done, you know, the task, you know what I mean? Um, obviously it looks like they've done all that. Anyway, so... Um, obviously I can go in it for a lot, there's like a lot of things I can do, like you can do event goals, fame and reputation, like we can make her, um, change her reputation to let's say to 5, so she has got a great reputation, you know what I mean? I'm obviously, I'm not going to go over this too much because, um, I have got so many mods to go over this, uh, this video, but, <laughs> so we're going to move on to the next one, next one is quite similar as the MC Command Center, now I'm sure most of you have heard of this mod or used it at some point. But I'll just go over it again anyway, because it is so important for me. So there are two, basically two um, menus. So, for example, I, we're just going to do the one where you click on a sim and you go to MC Command Center. So as you can see here, there are a lot of options coming up. 
You can see the parents, the number of children, her age, how many days she's got left. And there's so many, so many, so many options you can do from here. So you can modify the household and create a sim. You can go over to this menu, you can change the walk style straight from here, their voice. Um, increase the funds here. A lot of the same stuff as a UI command center. Um, then you can go to um, cleaner. I don't really know what that does. Dresser, which you can change their outfit straight away. For example, I didn't make these outfits. I just those are just ones that were given randomized to her. So obviously, I just changed her outfit. I want to change it back because <laughs> those are ugly randomized outfits. Um, and then also you can go down to pregnancy. So you can make her pregnant, and you can ch check who's pregnant with. So let's just say Mortimer Goth, and you can um, decide how many babies. So you can, if you don't want to, to know, you can just click random, and then you can find out she's pregnant with. How many babies? The trimester. You can change the the phase. Make a you know phase three. You know what I mean? Obviously that that um, this is just showing it off. Obviously what her and modem is not appropriate, so she's a teenager. But I'm just showing it off. Obviously, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just end the pregnancy there, um, as that is not okay. <laughs> and then there's an C tuner. I'm not too sure what that does. You could experiment with it, I guess, a bit. Um, you can also add flags. So you can flag for not aging so they won't age to freeze motives so that means their motives will stay the same freeze you can like freeze things obviously i'm i'm actually learning stuff now as i'm going through it because i haven't gone through every single thing um but you can obviously do a lot a lot a lot of stuff so you can do also do i'll show you a few of the ones i usually use um so i do set age this one's quite a lot for, um helpful for me so you can set the amount of days they have in this age span so if you don't want them to age down yet so she's got she's in the seventh day so let's say you put her to our third and she'll be a lot younger obviously that can help if your sim's about to age into an elder and you want them to be living a little bit longer or like you want them to be an adult for a little bit longer then you can just go in and cheat that it's so helpful you can um also modify and create a sim and maintain sim so you can kill them send their gen set a gender preference which is also really cool um you can also add relationships so, and also you can do this from a computer. The, the computer gives you a different menu completely. Um, second. Right, so then you can, there are settings here. You can auto save. I don't really use this. I just save when I want. You can do relationship settings. A um, lot, lot of settings. Like, I'm not going to go into every single thing. You can set the age span duration for each thing. So that's like the default age span and it'll change it for every single sim you have. Um, and there are just a few other ones, I guess, that you aren't available for clicking on a sim. But these are more like broad settings for your whole game rather than just that specific sim, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so that is pretty much the MC Command Center. Obviously, there's a lot more going on that I could go into, but I think we'll um, leave you guys to experiment that or watch some other videos, I guess, for that. But then the next mod we will be experiencing and trying out is the Simdar dating app. Obviously you may have heard of this one as well, but this mod is a bit of a godsend. You know, I, I love this mod to add some real some realism. So let's just say Andre here has decided that he's he's a bit fed up with his wife. He's he you can see he's angry. Look at him. He is he's had enough and he wants to um had enough and he wants to, you know, have a bit of a bit of a fling, you know? I'm just taking a few photos. Oh gosh. Okay, um, sorry, I was just taking a photo there. Anyway, so my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not trying to get you bored here, but so let's just say we go over to a phone. There's a sim, his phone, sorry. There's a sim dating app option. Um, and sit down and then you can do a lot of options here. So there's a specific date, blind date, female blind date, male blind date, one night stand and enable hookup calls. So other sims can call you to ask for a hookup, you know? So let's just say, um, let's just do blind date. So this can just be whoever we end up with. You know, we don't know who we're going to end up with. So obviously it'll take you out on a date with them. Um, and you'll go, you can pick somewhere you want to go, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're not going to have him self who That is for another mod coming up soon. <laughs> um, what's going, what's going on? I don't know. I, th I think she's, did she... Oh, okay, it's a ministerial side. Okay, cycle. We can go over that in a bit. So obviously he's just texting this person, whoever he's talking to, and that'll work out. 
Sometimes free will can be so annoying, honestly. I don't know what's taking a little while. Maybe he's just trying to... Okay, so now we're going to go... Um, that took a little while longer than the So there's this person here, and we can go out for a date somewhere. So let's just go to the Blue Velvet Nightclub, obviously. Since that's the only real ideal place to go for a date in here, because there's not really any other places. Um, obviously, we can go to another city, but we won't bother with that. So now we are on a blind date with this sim, Leah. It'll give us the blind date option, and then it gives us some objectives to do. So let's just do an enchanting introduction, since that is a good way to get the flirtiness going on. She's obviously digging it. Oh, no, she's not. Maybe not. Alright. <laughs> um, so you can just do stuff to ask if they're single. Um, and... Oh my god, is that? That's part of the thing I have. Oh, let's just do that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, now, what else can we do here? Obviously, there's not too much to this mod. It's more just kind of the add ons, but I don't have a lot of the add ons in. But I'll just read them to you real quick. So, you can have like a pregnancy chance add on. So, um, this is when Sims, you know, they can have a chance of getting pregnant uh, if they decide to, you know have a little bit of some fun times <laughs> um you can have an only single so that means only npcs that are not in a relationship will be used by the mod um you can have it for a same age only sims since the person's young adult and he is an adult so you can make it just for a certain age um and there's a few other things but obviously um you can obviously at least just say this date went well so i'm going to use the UI thingy to try this, um, and I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this isn't working here, never mind. <laughs> um, so let's just say that a date went pretty well. So let's just end it now, and a silver medal earned, but you can also, um, some dar dating app, where is it? You can have, um, a, let's say a one night stand. You can spend one night with a sim. I don't know if there's any way to woo her. So you could choose who you want. So let's just, you can choose anyone you want. So let's just choose Bob can Pancakes, why not? Uh, I don't, I don't know if Bob's gonna meet us here. Um, there's not a bed here, so we might have to place one. <laughs> why not, why not show it off, you know, guys? This is the Sims after all. Um, I don't know if he's gonna, there he is. So it'll say one night stand, enchanting introduction. So let me just place a bed here. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, but we may as well try. So yeah, I just installed this game. See, every so I just um made a new sorry, I made a new save file for this since it's, um so that's why it's showing everything is new just because I don't want to affect my actual game. So you, then you click this one, the woohoo with, so it has a little phone, and then you can just woohoo with them. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they won't reject you since obviously it's consensual and you both are interested in the one night stand. So then you get it's basically just normal woohoo. So I'll just go up to the bed, um, and woohoo. So yeah, it's it's not it's nothing special. On it's, well, I'm not trying to bag it obviously, but like it's not something like crazy. It's just just something to add a little bit of a uh, um, fun way to fun little twist to funny relationships, and that's pretty much it, obviously. But I think we'll just leave that part there, and then we'll move on to the next mod. Oh gosh, she's glitching. Uh just fix fix that. All right. So now let's move on to the next mod, which is the Slice of Life mod. Now this mod, <gasps> this mod is, it, it's it's honestly one of the best mods I've ever seen in this game. And that isn't even an understatement in itself. <laughs> now there's like so many components to this mod. Um, I just took them back home. But anyway, but there's so many components, probably too many to go over, but like, Everything you see, like this is a slice of life mod. He's tense. It's from life. It just adds a lot of. It can add a lot of emotions and stuff. Um, the period one, the menstrual cycle. Cycle. This girl's on a period and she has a fresh tampon slash pad, and she can't have. She's infertile. So that's all part of the slice of life mod. It just adds a lot of extra realistic things. Got cramps, cravings, all that sort of good stuff. Now slice of life and look at look at this menu it's so extensive you can have a have a take pills um there's a phone apps all these apps i think they're just pretty much games social media look at all this stuff it's pretty amazing inbox it, um let's just say send a viral meme you can do so so much um 
Oh, she's hungry. Uh, let's what, see a body care. Take birth control. Let's take some menstrual. Menstrual. I don't. I'm sorry. I can't say it. <laughs> Relief symptom. You can you can cheat to give it the flu. Um, so they they can get quite sick from this mod. They don't die. I'm pretty sure not. You can buy outfits. I haven't tried this actually. So let's order a top. So it just puts her in a new top. Okay, that's kind of cool. I guess. Um, will that change? I think it changes her default outfit as well. So it just bought her a random top and now she'll be wearing that top. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, I kind of would have liked if you could get like a specific, um, choice of what it is. You can, we're not going to take off clothes. Um, travel, we can give her go study at school. Oh, this is actually quite cool. I've not seen this before. So she'll just go off the lot and study. And I can't bring her back. I just tried clicking out of it, but I can't bring her back. So let's just move on to Dahlia over here continue reviewing this mod um gosh what am i doing what's this oh gosh they're having a bit of a some funny times oh gross he's just been with someone else two other sims and now he's gone home and kissed her dirty guy so you can choose your turn on your turn off so you can make her get drunk it's a buff um it's a cheat using so now she is drunk it just gives her the dazed thing and says she's a sloppy drunk dahlia is very drunk this sim will act different than usual. So obviously this is there's so many other things. I'm not going to go into it too much again because there are so many mods to review here. Um, we're only on to number five, which is halfway. So the next one is the Sim City Loans mod. Now this mod, we're going to need a computer for this one. I'm pretty sure. You can go Sim City Loans. So you can apply it for loans. So let's say she needs a little bit of a pick me up. Let's apply for ten thousand. So you can. You can put it into multiple payments. So let's just say she wants to pay it in 24 payments. Alright, let's go downstairs real quick. Speedy, 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 speeding on through. Um and then she'll just she'll just sit at a computer and apply for the loan, and then she'll be given the five thousand the ten thousand simoleons. So it says SimCity Bank has approved Dahlia's loan application. She must repay this loan plus five percent interest before taking out another loan. So obviously, um, so obviously she can't do anything else now. Um, she can't take any more loans, but there's, she gets this little packet in her, um, inventory and she can pay it in multiple loans. This is really cool. So you can pay the full loan back or you can make us one payment. So let's just make one payment. Um, so yeah, and then decide, let's, let's just pay it all. Uh, we can't pay it back now. Once you've started paying, you have to keep paying you know, per month, um, not per month, but per payment, you know, so you can make multiple payments and stuff, so that's pretty much it, it's not really much, that's all it is, I guess, um, but yeah, and then once you, once you've done this, you can, you can't delete this or anything, once you've paid it back, then you can move on and get another loan if you need, so, um, the next one is the Life Tragedies mod, now this mod, I might have to, I'm gonna save the game here, because, we might have some dead sims from this mod. Obviously, I'm not- this mod is so, so big. It's a new mod. I'm just gonna go into a few parts of it. I'm not gonna go on it too much because I feel like that's a lot. Uh, there's a lot- there'll be a lot too much to go through. So, let's go into live tragedies. Enable live tragedies in the save file. So, um, let's, let's see, let's see. Let's- we can- I think we can cheat. So, we might just cheat this. Um, oh gosh. Let's, let's cheat her, actually, because- I'm gonna take off the drunk the moodlet and I'm just gonna uh, cheat all their needs just so we can focus on this. It's not about um, playing the actual game here, is it? Um, <laughs> so let's let's go over here. All right, sorry about that. If you just heard a noise, I told them. Hey, they were just waiting for them to leave. Um, so there are lots of options here. You can give fatal illness. You can give them the symptoms. So the difference between them is the symptoms is they're just starting to get the symptoms from it. They won't be diagnosed as such, whereas from here they'll be diagnosed. So, um, you can turn into an armed rob engine, go rob people. You can debug get the kidnap traits, so as if they got kidnapped. You can send some to jail. There's so many things. You can set the current speed. So let's just give her a fatal illness. So it says it gives her the remaining life. This is so crazy. Um, you can see that she's dying. Dahlia is living her last days. The best thing to do at this point is the rest to say goodbye to loved ones. So this meter will go down until she ends up ultimately dying, which is so crazy. You can actually, actually, um, life tragedies. Um, you can do fatal illness, and you can have the surgery at the hospital. So there are multiple options here. So you can just say rabbit hole. 
Um, so that means I choose the rabbit hole option here just because I don't want to actually take it to the hospital. So then she'll, then she'll disappear for a little while. So while we're waiting for that, let's move, um, this, I'll move on to another thing. Yeah, let's see what, what we can do with him. If we can do anything, I don't know if we can. Tragedies. Okay, we can have him, um, be bullied. So, uh, let's see what, how this works. We might have to have him go stand outside for this to work. Surgery succeeded. All oh, fatal illness. Congratulations. Dahlia's surgery was successful. Dahlia has been cured from, cured from the fatal illness. Um, so yeah, so Sarah succeeded, so she's been cured from it, and that means she'll be back to normal. And something really cool that is people will start, like, clapping, and they'll just, like, be so excited for her. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen now, but maybe not. Oh yeah, see, he just threw in some, some confetti. Um, it, it's pretty cool. So obviously, um, what, what's happened here? Oh, Max, what? He got, I didn't even see this. This this kid came and bit him up. Oh my God. Can we, oh my God. Can we bully, we can beat him down. Let's beat him down. Show him, show him what, show him who's boss, you know? We're not going to make fun of this then. So now, oh. My god, that's what what's he even doing? I don't know. I think I don't know if that's a glitch <gasps> Your ugly ass <laughs> Oh my god, I need a screenshot of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's insane <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave that mod here. I think we're gonna move on. Let's see if we can turn off I don't know if we can turn it on um debug Tragedies. Maybe we have to go to an adult sim for this. Um, oh gosh, wrong sim. Um, live tragedies option. So I don't know if you can turn it off now. Um, I'm not sure. It's, it's not giving me the option to turn it off. So maybe that would be quite cool if you had that option. Maybe I'm missing it. I'm not too sure. So we're going to move on to the next mod. The next mod is the ex Floor mod. I'm now in a rush because I have to go out soon, so let's just get this video done. <laughs> so this mod is um the explore mod. Where is it? Alright, here it is. Explore. So until you can start doing it, you have to try for your license. So your sim, you can choose a sim um to go off, and that sim will kind of be in charge of all the other sims, I guess you could say. So these sims can leave now, hopefully. It's not an open house. <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip until she's ready to she's got her license. Um just on the topic of the live tragedy mod, I just noticed for um if you want to stop it, you just have to go to tragedy occurrence beat and off. Alright. <laughs> um just just thought that you know that real quick. Alright, so it looks like she's about to come back very soon. So she has returned home, it says she's explored. So now that we got this, we can do many things. It's pretty crazy. Um, let me pause the game real quick. So she, she, she wants to go south for her. We are not doing that right now. <laughs> so you can do vacation stops, um, places. You can go places, services. Um, you can go to the hospital. That's spelt wrong. Hot, hot host basil? I don't know if that's on... A mistake. So you can go places. Um, I feel like there are usually more places than this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you need other mods. Um, but you can you can kind of send them away if you need them to do stuff. This is all that I can really see right now. There might be other options. Maybe I just didn't ex explore the add-ons. But I think that's pretty much it. Um. So for the next mod is the smoking mod. Now this mod I did do in my last video. Um, smoke. Uh, you can um search up for cigarettes and stuff. So I search up cigar. It's just buy a cigarettes packet. We're not going to show off the cigars because I haven't got much time. But we'll try to show it. Um, it's I think this mod might be a little bit outdated. So it's giving me the last exception course by MCCC. But it still should work properly. So you can smoke a Dahlia Evans. I don't know why it says it's, she's smoking herself. But she basically can just smoke here as you can see. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. But you know, you, I think they can get an addiction as well. I'm pretty sure. So let's just have her smoke a few. And then see if she gets an addiction. So it gives her the mood that smoking from smoking. Dahlia is relaxed and happy from smoking tobacco. So let's get her to smoke another one. Um... Fast forward this real quick. This boy's good. He, he's cleaning it up. Um, and it might say, I think now it could say that she's addicted. 
Um, okay, she's not addicted yet. She must be definitely not a lightweight. <laughs> um, but after maybe I'd say at least the third one will say she's addicted. Uh, otherwise, I'd be um, surprised. Okay, no, not even that one. Okay, let's try it one more time. Otherwise, it could just be that they just smoke. It would be it would be cool though if they got addicted. She's not even addicted yet. Like maybe five. I don't know. Otherwise, I might just give up. Okay, it doesn't look like she's getting addicted. Um, it's kind of it's kind of a shame. Because I thought that, you know, that would be a cool part of the mod. Um, it could just be... It could just be a glitch or something, I'm not too sure. I mean... Okay, I think we're just gonna leave that mod there. <laughs> um, the next one is... The food delivery service. Sorry, I'm just writing my notes and I, um, had the wrong name down. Okay, so you can order food through a flirt Food delivery. Wow, that was crazy. Um, see, I've not, I haven't used this one too much in a, quite a while, but I know, I know it. Um, it was quite helpful. It might have to be um, fire service. I'm gonna say it's through there. I don't quite remember, but I think it's okay. But Little Miss Sam's food delivery. So then you can choose exactly what you want. There's so many foods you can pick, almost everything pretty much. You can just pick what you want. So let's just say she wants a pizza, a cheese pizza. And then it says your ordered food from Little Miss Sam's food delivery is on its way and should arrive shortly. So that is pretty cool. So now it's pretty much you just gotta wait. It'll be cool if this was added to like the base game as an update or something though, rather than just having it as, um, rather than just having it as a mod. Cause I feel like it, the mod is doing God's work, honestly. It seems like she's cooking, even though she just ordered a pizza. I don't know why she'd do that. So now the Sim has come to the door. So let's have him get up and go take the food for 99 simoleons. Oh my god, there's been a fire. Are you kidding me? So, um... <laughs> this, 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 is, this is amazing. Hopefully she can get the fire out. Okay, now we can take the food. Now we can take the food. Alright. <laughs> and then they'll leave. So that, that's pretty much it. But it's pretty cool. It's just a little bit of a cool extra mod, and you can take a slice and just eat it. Exactly like that. Alright, so now let's moving on to the last mod. The last mod will actually be in Creator Sim, so let's just take them into Creator Sim. Um, real quick, hopefully this, this should be loaded really quickly because I haven't got many mods in. So this one is, um, it's just more of a practical mod. I just think it's so much helpful, so much more, way more helpful. Oh gosh, my, my grammar. But you can see here that there are five columns rather than two. I mean, that's pretty much it. It just kind of makes this a bit wider and it just makes it a lot easier to navigate. It's such a useful mod. I definitely say I download it. I have the five version, but I think there's a four and a three as well. So you can have either four columns or three columns or five, which is what I have. I think the five is the best, but obviously I think it depends on your screen size and also just your preferences as well. So anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. I will leave all the links below to these mods if you would like to download them. Now, if you like the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment of what you think about these mods in general, and also follow my Twitter, which is SimdalYT for updates on my channel and just future videos and, and just random stuff, you know? Um, hope, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, everyone.